I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Frank, who wants to know if I can help him overcome his crushing sense of futility. And I can't. It's not that I don't sympathize with you, of course. Who doesn't want to feel like they matter, or what they do counts for something? But it doesn't. I'm sorry, it's, it's simply the case. All of this is, to borrow from scripture, vanity of vanities, and I could no more in good conscience disabuse you of that notion than, than I could convince you that, that gravity doesn't exist, or that a diet consisting solely of expired beans and canned spaghetti doesn't lead to consequences. No. That sense of futility is, is merely a, a coming to terms with reality. N nothing that we do truly matters, either on a personal level or societal or, well, even planetary. We will all eventually be reduced to carbon. But that doesn't mean that we should equate that sense of futility with despair. Futility is, is merely a state of being. One can logically understand it and make peace with it. Despair, however, makes one give in to it. It, it seizes one up. It stops all action. It is, if you'll forgive me, the, the difference between knowing logically that one cannot outrun a Shoggoth and just lying down and letting oneself be consumed. We're only here for a brief amount of time. We might as well enjoy it. Or, as the barber said to the pie maker, life is for the alive, my dear, so let's keep living it, really living it. As always, I'm a Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you. Mm -hmm.